Hi all and welcome back to another tutorial, um, Nick Morrell Abstracts. Um, this time I put out a vote and everyone wants, wants to see the marble and effect again. I'm going to do a heavier marble and effect with some oils and some cells through the middle section of the marbling effect with a silver marble. Um, we're going to have some gold bands coming through diagonal. This is a 39 by 11 size canvas again. Same size canvas as the Aquapore, um, which I done last night. So um, put it out there. Everybody wanted to see this one again, I'm trying to f explain the marbling effect and how we create that. So products used today, we're going to have the 352, the PBO metallic gold iridescent, and that's going to create the gold bands in this one. Just one gold in this one. And we're using the 351 metallic iridescent PBO and that's added to the white um, to create the marbling effect and also we might just add see how it goes a few bands next to the gold um, but we'll see how the marbling effects um, so it's a 39 times 11 canvas um, we can use three cups again probably about 450 in each with white um, added with probably 20%, 25% to 30% of the silver to create a bit more of a heavily marbling effect on this one um, so you guys can see it more um, so it is on my, if you check my page out it's a bigger 4 foot by 2 I've done with this um, one of the ones that went out to Universal Studios in Orlando they had one very similar to this but a 4 foot by 2 with the gold bands, the heavy marble and I'm going to try and create some cells just in the center area of this one and with the bands it looks quite nice a heavier effect um, so we've got mixed up I won't mix this too much this one's got some um, oil in it silicon oil and a gold again oil in that as well again just literally one drop in each and a very light one stir um, we've mixed the white paint up already so ready and again to the consistency Again, quite thick, but a sort of runny honey or a nice thick yogurt. It's really important to get the mix right. It's a 50 51 mix with the Liquitex pour medium again. And the white used this time again is the PBO um, 41. It's a high velocity, really spreads nice, really shiny, it's opaque. Um, for creating this marble effect, this is the one I would highly recommend. Um, gets great results every time. Again, another important tip I haven't shown you. Obviously, once getting your canvas ready, you must make sure it's level. Proper level. I've leveled all my table. It's perfect level. It's really important once it dries, otherwise paint will go all over the place. So before, preparation is everything. Get yourself nice and level. Obviously, I know my table's level, and the canvases, and some canvases can be a bit buckled. Say the Windsor Newton, Newton Windsor's uh, perfect, and nice and solid canvases. So quite expensive, but again, the products you use show in the final results. Don't skimp on your products. I know it's a really expensive um, way of painting, but to get the great effects, and especially if you're going to sell. Obviously, um, use expensive products. Okay, so we're nice and level. So now, we're going to mix. Also, I've obviously taped underneath, as I said before. Um, I can show you that quickly. Obviously, mask and tape all the way around. So once it's dry, it's nice clean underneath. So make sure we're nice and set. Okay. Now, so we're going to mix these two first because this one is um, going to have some silver with a splash of silicon oil in it to, to try and create some more effects once I move it around. And they'll have no the um, the silver's got no silicon oil in the two end ones. Okay. So just give it a final stir. The paint can thicken up, especially in the warmer conditions, it can thicken up. So 
be perfect. It's about 15 degrees in the UK here, so it's cooling down a bit. So about three quarters of the cup. Again, we're going to probably waste a lot of here. About three quarters. It's fine. About three quarters again. Again, try not to waste. I may need to mix up some little bit of silver once I'm finished, but we'll, we'll see how we go. Again, always a little a cup you need, and I'll show you later for putting uh, stripes in. So again, I have sort of marked this centrally here to just give me a guideline. Obviously this is going to go landscape or portrait, whichever way you want. So I'm probably going to do this one for a landscape, so I want to think where my stripes in proportion. Again, not too uniform, but you don't want them down the end. You want them quite uniform and probably going to go with one and then two and two um, just to create a nice effect so i've got the silicon now this is the this is the silver without the oil so without the oil i'm going to drop it in this one so again a nice height to get it right down to the bottom okay and again right down to the bottom Again, probably about 30 percent a lot more silver than the, the previous one again and don't stir now this one is with the oil so silicon oil in this one Fine. Again, the gold we will pour into the little cup when we're finished. Again, I'm just trying to do this so you can see the best you can. We are going to create a bit of a mess, but with the camera, I'm just trying to side show you guys. So, these two on first. Settle a bit, and the third one, and again, as the aqua pour, I'm going to open these two first and then let this one come in so we can control it better. Um, with a large canvas, so 39 by 11, if we let all the three go at once, it's sort of all over the place. Um, just the way I like to do it, you can do all three at once, um, creates a lot more mess. I just like to control. Um, what I'm looking at so we'll pour these two just give it a couple of seconds so no silicon in these two and there's silicon in this one hopefully gonna get a few more cells it's gonna create more bit of interest in the middle See that so we're going to try and move over try and get the corners so we can create some nice you see that guys again this way to try and create just trying to create a nice marble effect before we add the bands. And so just keep hold of the middle one. I'm trying to 
and get all your corners in. That's fine. So we've got some real heavier marble on this one. And this is the one with the silicon oil. So hopefully, she creates more different effects in the middle. And yeah, just try and blend that into that. Again, a lot of wastage. As you can see, the cells are popping in for that middle one. Just try and move it wherever. And with this, you just keep doing until you really, you're happy with the effects. So I just like this one with the middle. The middle cells just creates a nicer, more interesting. And it's just creating a bit of, um, it's probably been a lot of bit of natural stone really. Again, you get some quiet areas, some busy areas. But I hope you can see that heavier marble on this one. Just take the axos. I'm just moving it around. It's quite nice heavy marbling on this, the right hand side, with a slightly quieter on the left, but that's fine. That just creates more of a marble, natural stone look. And obviously once these are high glossed up, it really does, does pop. So you want to take quite a lot of the paint off when marbling. Just bringing it back to where I'm happy. Again, that's looking pretty cool. As you can probably see, a lot of heavy marbling through the middle. Um, again, I'm not going to really torch that yet. And again, got some nice marbling veins. And this is how marbling looks in natural stone. Now I'm going to try and keep it central. So we've got a central sort of line here. So I'm gonna sort of try and come just a bit diagonal. So run it off first. Just run it off first and get your first stripe in. So I'm gonna probably go one then then two with a bit of silver in the middle. Again, 50-50 mix on this. 
I'm going to move this around in a minute. Turn your paint on. Let me run it off first. And again, this little bleed. I'll move it around. Again, I'm just going to try and add a, just a tiny bit of silver in the middles. Just to contrast it. once it starts drying this will all blend in into each other I'm probably going to put a, a silver down the side of the gold and again so once we torch this will all come into its own we're going to get some more cells here and the golds are going to bleed and the silver is going to bleed in. Yeah, probably just a tad more gold on this one. Again, and make sure you take the pour. There's nothing worse than blobbing a, a bit of gold where you don't want it. Some more gold on this one. You can see the, the effects. You just give it a little move. Once this dry, this will all bleed into each other, um, and the stripe will move more. It's going to blend. Put a bit of thicker in there. More bleeds. As you can see, it creates a stunning, stunning look. You've got some more cells coming here. Here is going to be quiet. Not much is going to happen here. Um, we're just going to high gloss this up once we finish. I'm just going to torch now, just see if I can get some cells, some more cells coming in the middle section. see that effect. Again, some more interest, a lot more interesting in here. So the gold and silver have oil, so these are going to move and sell up more. And this is all going to pop more as well. Again, these silvers and golds are going to come more interesting as they they dry. As you can see, they're bleeding into the white now. So 
So if you can see this area here is a more interesting area. Just try and lift it slightly so you can see. Obviously a lot more interesting area there. And as this dries, that is going to become more interesting. Um, we've got these new nice gold bands here and these are all going to move. These are going to move more and blend. No, not too uniform. So this one's going to probably go landscape or you could go portrait, um, whichever. So you've got some nice quiet cells, no cells in these areas here, marbling effect, but more of a deeper marbling. Got the 350 gold, 351 silver. In the middle section, as we held that, you can see the marbling, more silver and some cells, just to create more of an interesting center with the gold. And this is all gonna blend in move more so don't worry get your stripes in don't think they look okay it's all going to blend in hold its sort of shape but more interesting and a quieter marbling here let's say we'll probably just got to go around and check all your edges so make sure your edges are fine A couple of little bits here. Just a couple of little ones here. Is there anything you need to know, anything you need to ask? So please check my YouTube channel out. Let's help as much as possible. Your edges. And say so just have a go. But the marbling effect is a stunning effect. Create some really interesting looks. And say so a little once it's glossed up to the high gloss, I tend to always use the high gloss on the the marbling effects. As marble would be in your worktops. Nice and glossy, shiny. So I hope you like that, guys. Again, that is the very similar to the one that is now at Universal Studios, Florida. And um, they've got a four foot by two in the, in the same effects. So it's not identical. It's a similar theme. Um, so once it's, they've got the gold glossed up and the cells, it's going to sell lots more in here and become more interesting. It'll be quiet here, quiet here, but looks like a bit of natural stone here um, with the silver touching the gold. So this is all going to bleed, as you can see. It's going to bleed. It's starting to bleed now. It's got oil in. So I just hope you like watching what I'm doing. So any questions or anything you'd like me to show you guys not a problem and there you go so check out my other work it's on Facebook it's on YouTube Show you when it's dried. There, guys. Until until next time. I hope you liked it. That's what everyone sort of seemed to want. I've showed the marbling in more detail. A lot more thicker marble than this one, um, with the gold bands, with silver, and with cells. Slightly different in the middle. It's more interesting. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching.